coalition and we're talking to the director of the uh, coalition uh, Ms. Uh, Whitlow and of course Ms. Whitlow before we had our first commercial break we promised that we'd give you an opportunity to continue uh, to talk about the various uh, STDs I guess uh, we could say uh, that uh, we've not mentioned and the impact that uh, this disease these diseases are having upon American society especially upon African Americans Okay, well, and uh, I want to go back to just visit uh, just real briefly in 1998 and 1999, uh, which is how STD-free began. Mm -hmm. uh, at the health department, uh, we recognized that our rates here in Nashville mm -hmm. were, were higher than the national average. And so uh, instead of the usual public health response, I think that uh, Dr. Stephanie Bailey did some very brave things. Uh, she took some very decisive measures in that she already had around the city uh, regional teams and uh, those regional teams at that time were addressing um, public health issues in specific parts of town so the the regional team in East Nashville um, began to look along with the the clinic at the issue of syphilis in Nashville and uh, we decided to attack the um, the issue a little bit differently from what you might expect mm -hmm. from the health department and so uh, the response was I think a very small one and it's paid off for STD free um, mm -hmm. even to this day mm -hmm. uh, so what, what happened was that we uh, got together everybody that we could uh, get together mm -hmm. in Nashville and we asked them to come to the Metro Health Department for a forum mm -hmm. on the issue of syphilis and uh, now Dr. Haney most people don't want to talk about sexually mm -hmm. transmitted diseases. No, good, good. They aren't interested uh, particularly mm -hmm. in HIV and certainly syphilis, mm -hmm. a, a curable STD, was mm -hmm. not on the barometer of a lot of people. Good, but good, good. Uh, I, I think uh, that Bart Perky and uh, Tina Lester and Dr. Bailey and, and several other of us that worked on the issue mm -hmm. uh, did a, a very good job in planning and uh, we were able to get individuals from uh, politicians yeah to uh, people who work in youth service organizations, to plain or lay persons who just had an interest in health in their community, media individuals, and uh, m uh, most importantly, people from the faith community mm -hmm. came out to that forum, and uh, we were very happy with the numbers that, that came out. Now, what happened at the forum was that we had the data up on the walls um, mm -hmm. prominently displayed, and so that people could see uh, not the issue just as a city issue but mm -hmm. down to the neighborhood level very, very and that was very important in galvanizing uh, our community work groups uh, which out of that evolved mm -hmm. uh, faith work group which was headed up by Reverend Sanders uh, where we now mm -hmm. uh, are located inside the first response center actually next door here to the studio mm -hmm. and Miss um, uh, Baldwin Tucker uh, Councilwoman Tucker yeah. now mm -hmm. um, with the schools and higher education uh, action group and another action group was uh, the law enforcement and court mm -hmm. group and uh, then a couple more were schools and higher education and community and social services there was also a group that worked with medical professionals so all together those groups mm -hmm. um, were able to effectively work with and educate those populations uh, that we felt would make the best impact in terms of educating mm -hmm. uh, our community mm -hmm. and then decreasing in numbers Absolutely, mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm, sir. Mm -hmm. And so, from from those work groups, uh, the STD free organization evolved, mm -hmm. and um, it evolved also into a coalition, which is what we have now. Mm -hmm. So there are 36 agencies that are part of the STD free coalition. We meet on a monthly basis, the fourth Wednesday of every month, um, at inside of the first response center mm -hmm. at the uh, Metro Center location. Mm -hmm. We have a meal that's free of cost to the uh, coalition attendees and guests and we talk about the issue of sexually transmitted diseases but we also do something that's more important mm -hmm. we do collective planning uh, in terms of activities and um, mm -hmm. uh, special um, thrusts that, that really mm -hmm. meet the needs of the populations mm -hmm. that we're trying to reach and so in a real sense uh, Ms. Whitlow you've got uh, a, a cross-section of the population in uh, Nashville dealing with the uh, whole issue of STD, but yet and still, we don't hear that much about what's going on uh, and, and, and now. But would you say that uh, in what you're doing, do you think that you're uh, successful in getting more information out in reference to it? Or I what think, it, what I think 
I think that our community coalition has been very successful, mm -hmm. and I think what uh, points most strongly to that success is is the decrease in numbers mm -hmm. from epidemic proportions okay. uh, mm -hmm. with regard to syphilis here in Nashville mm -hmm. to less than 36 cases mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in just a, a, a small span of years. Okay. Uh -huh. And that was with the help of the Metro Health mm -hmm. Department mm -hmm. uh, and leadership at the clinic mm -hmm. and uh, with a strong jail syphilis elimination mm -hmm. program, but also very importantly, those community mm -hmm. coalitions and agencies that meet on a monthly basis and plan mm -hmm. those activities. Mm -hmm. And so what you started in 1998-99, in, in you've in reality uh, continued, but you see fruition of uh, some of that now. Yes. And what you're trying to do in a real sense is to keep people aware of the fact that, uh, that unless we keep reminding folks of it, that we're going to get back into the uh, situation that we were in Absolutely. in 1998. Now, do you think that we, uh, well, in, in other words, we have a fairly good uh, uh, record in terms of STDs around uh, the Middle Tennessee area. Would you say that? Uh, is there? I wouldn't go that far. Okay, okay. I, I'd say that, that we, we have in, in Middle Tennessee mm -hmm. and in Nashville, I think that we have come up with some innovative approaches. Mm -hmm. and. Um, particularly here in Nashville, we do well with the three C's, the community, uh, the coalescing, uh, mm -hmm. and the collaboration, uh, and, and those partnerships mm -hmm. that really do um, impact disease in a, in a meaningful way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, and, and, and of course, uh, I, I think we've got a, a, a couple of uh, minutes uh, before the end of this segment, uh, and uh, let, let, let's see, uh, before we get move beyond that, uh, is this the same coalition? Is this coalition also working on the issue of AIDS over the last couple of minutes that we have? Done yes, we, we provide uh, about six products, uh, mm -hmm. so to speak, to the Nashville community. Mm -hmm. That's uh, testing, which we pro provide OrSure testing, which mm -hmm. is free of charge. Mm -hmm. Uh, we provide training, uh, train the trainer, and something called the STD HIV mm -hmm. update to mm -hmm. the communities of Nashville. Anybody can can take those courses there, free of charge. Mm -hmm. We also provide education in terms of pamphlets and presentations, mm -hmm. and uh, we do a, a media awareness thrust mm -hmm. that involves uh, going mm -hmm. on shows like comments, mm -hmm. uh, but also we. Have produced well, not produced, but we have with a partner yeah, mm -hmm. uh, have access to uh, five com commercials that are 30 second spots. Mm -hmm. They run and have run on your and networks, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. they uh, address Hispanics and African Americans. And there are figures in those commercials mm -hmm. which are very high quality mm -hmm. that are recognizable to those populations we want to reach. And of course, uh, Miss Whitlow, let's take this uh, final commercial break, and after which we'll come back and give you an opportunity to. Uh, further enlighten us as well as to uh, perhaps give some uh, information to our young people and we'll be back uh, following this very very short commercial break we're talking to miss